this year, Councilman Brendan Betts faced criticism after sending mocking and inappropriate text messages to a black activist. Since then, he's had all of his committee assignments stripped from him. And there was even one point when the Democratic Ingham County Party asked him to consider resigning. But now, one of Betts' constituents is pushing forward a recall effort, saying he's not fit to represent the first war. Brandon, you should go, and he doesn't want to. And so we will force him. It's our right as the people to kick him out of office, and that is what we're going to do. As a new resident to the first ward, Andre Brown says he's ready for Betts to stop representing him and his neighbors on the city council. And even though Betts' term is up in 2023, Brown says he wants him gone way before that, which is why he filed a recall petition with the county. Now that I am in his ward, I feel that we're facing a taxation without representation sort of deal, and that's because council has stripped him of all his committees. The council voted to censor Betts back in February after he sent these combative text messages to Michael Lynn Jr. And while Betts doesn't have as many responsibilities, he's still getting a salary of more than $26,000 for being on council. We don't need this uh, wasteful spending on someone's salary who to my definition, doesn't have a role and no influence. Fox 47 reached out to Betts for a comment, and while he didn't agree to an interview, he did send this email saying he thinks the language used in the petition contains factual errors because he believes he's been performing his duties on council. He also said he doesn't see the petition's language getting support from the Ingham County Election Commission. And if they decide not to approve, then the filer certainly has an opportunity to appeal that through circuit court or to refile different language. Um, or if the commission decides to approve the language, then the uh, council member has the option to appeal that decision to circuit court um, within 10 days. And then if they don't appeal, then the circulator can start or the filer can then start circulating those petitions and getting signatures of the uh, voters in that district. If Brown's petition makes it to that step, he will have 180 days to gather signatures to place a recall on the ballot. But it's important to note that each signature is only valid for 60 days. We need a little over 2,500, but we hope to collect 3,500. Now the Ingham County Election Commission is expected to review the petition on November 15th, and we'll be sure to keep you updated. For now, we're here in Lansing. I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.